Let's start. The project name is the Periodic Work Manager. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity and the My Work class. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have three buttons, start work, stop work, and get updates. And text view where we display the updates from the work manager. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the start work button. This is the stop work button. This is the get work updates button. This is the text view. Let's see the Java code now. These are the imports. This is the my work class that extends the worker class. These are the data members. This is the constructor. Here we set the initial progress of the work as zero. In the do work, we perform some task. Here we do some mathematical calculations and call it progress. Then we call the set progress async function and pass the progress in it. This progress can be accessed from the main activity. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. When the start work button is clicked, we configure the periodic work of 15 minutes period. Here we set the tag, the back off policy which means after how many seconds should the work manager again try to fire this work, the time interval here could be linear or exponential. And then we enqueue this work in the work manager queue. When the stop work button is clicked, we cancel a particular work using its ID. When the get work updates button is clicked, this is how we collect the progress data of the work and show it in the text view. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement a periodic work using the work manager in Java Android. Thanks for watching.